friends in this video we'll learn about the automation with a database commands and the sub commands in the automation with a task editor you can see the database command when you expand the command you can see the five sub commands connect disconnect sql query insert update delete final one is run store procedure so now i will give you the live example for each and every sub commands and in my next videos i'll try to cover the other commands like excel files and folders error handling and the other commands and already have uploaded few videos about automation with certification basics recorders and the interview question and answers download and installation procedures everything so when you have a chance please watch the videos like and subscribe directly jump into the automation with database first you should know what is database so the database is an organized collection of data and it's generally stored and accessed electronically from a computer system so it's basically you know if you have a data you need a database to store the files data so and what is sql so the sql is a structured query language which is a computer language for storing manipulating and retrieving the data from stored in a relational database it's like uh, mysql or oracle any other databases like access database even if you are using any other databases you need a sql queries to manipulate the data from database manipulate or extract the information for anything you need a sql queries and use this database command to integrate databases with your automated task and move or capture the data particular data and the five sub commands are connect disconnect sql query insert update delete and the run store procedure and using this database command to convert export import or transfer data between the databases and the other applications like if you want to fetch all the information into your csv file or any other text files you can do that and here i have a database commands basic commands like for the sql select statement here you can see so in the automation anywhere you don't need any programming languages but at least you need a basic of sql this is you know for the select statement this is a basic query so if you are using the any other programming languages to extract the data trying to connect the database you need to connect the database as well as the connect the record set and everything but in this automation in where just you need to mention the heartbeat of the sql commands like the main commands you need to enter that's it even you can get it from the google itself if you type select sql select statement it will give you the exact results of select statement and the count statement as well as the select into insert into and the update statement so i'll also i'll update the all the sql statement into my descriptions video descriptions so you can pick it from there so i'll start with that first connect you need to connect the database so if you are working with the excel first you need to open the workbook then only you can update or fetch any informations like the same first you need to connect the database in order to connect the database just click the black color button and now i am going to connect into the access database so i need to connect this to the provider then i need to enter the entire path entire database path i need to enter already have created one of the sample database so i will open the sample database and i will copy the path from there so it's opening once it's done i'll copy the entire path like file name and the file path file name and the type file type everything needs to be copied the entire file path you need to copy the everything each and everything then you need to paste it once everything is done just click on test connection so it will show you test connection succeeded which means our database has been successfully incorporated so just click on okay save that's it now we have connected into the database database connection is ready so my current task is i need to extract the information from the particular database so i'll show you the database first so here i have a eight records and before that you should know 
what is database and what is the table and so what is column what is record what is row something like that so the entire file called as database and this test i have highlighted right this one called as table even you can create multiple table here and then this is row then this is record you should know each and everything and the other conditions so step by step you can learn each and everything quickly so currently i have eight records in my database so i need to fetch all the informations from the database for that just you need to use the select condition so here is a select condition select star from test where final status is equal to closed is nothing but so i need to fetch the final status wherever the final status mentioned as closed i need that data like 1 2 3 4 ya yeah. four records were mentioned as final status mentioned as closed so i need the particular four records if you don't feel you know the final status is not required then just delete that and select star from test the star is nothing but it will fetch all the informations or else if you need any other particular column values like id year if you need any other particular columns you can mention the column id over there or else just mention star it will consider you need all the informations so now i will select star from test test is a database table name then where condition final status is equal closed so wherever the final status mentioned as closed i need to fetch all the informations then here we have two other conditions maximum number of records to fetch optional which is so consider uh, if the database has more than 1 lakh records but if you are trying to extract at a single time you may face some of the issues so you can limit the data so if you enter maximum 1000 it will fetch maximum only 1000 time out for the query in seconds so uh, sometimes maybe due to the database issues or else due to the data can size uh, maybe that's reasons it will time out if you need the query should be time out within particular seconds you can update the seconds now i want to run the entire data then export data into csv file like currently we are extracting we are trying to extract four records right i need to store all the information into one of the csv file for that i need to select the file first so here i have a in my folder already i have created a csv data so just you need to select the file once you have done everything just click on save okay select query has been implemented so in the message box in the end i will show you the message box done so that we can see the action has been completed so i'll run this task so everything is completed we have executed the query run task window has been open 2 3 yeah how quickly it has been completed you can see so i'll open the csv data here here it should be four values four records with all the data closed final status wherever the final status is closed yeah you can see the four values four records has been fetched into the excel file csv file so everything is ready using the sql statement select so it's not a rocket science you know this is a basic query in the sql select star from table name that's it i have used that then i'll delete this select query next i'll show you insert and update queries so the insert and update queries you need to enter insert into statement this one is also very simple so just you need to previously we have updated select for here insert into then the table name database table name then the columns the database column headings like year 1 and the final value final value 
here yeah in that column 2 and 3 we have a year and the final value so i am going to update as 2016 and 1111 so this is my simple task so once everything is completed i will show you the message box is done so the basic condition so i'll save the task once again and run this task runtime window will opens and execute the task done it means everything is updated so i'll close this and reopen the database once again here you can see the ninth row has been added and the details are updated like 2016 and 111 all the details were updated so it's very simple thing then i'll show you the next query like update so insert update we have one more query right so i'll show you the update query so the update query the same previously we have selected select then insert into then the update that's it very simple queries so update then the table name database table name then set final status is equal to Tinash where year 1 is equal to 2017 this is basic condition which is here you can see the wherever the year 1 mentioned as 2017 I would like to change the final status value as Tinash yeah the highlighted row I need to change the final status value from closed to Tinash so just I have given the conditions so update table name set final status is equal to Tinash then where year 1 is equal to 2017 so I will share this SQL queries in the description so please use it so it is done once everything is completed you need to disconnect the database so previously I forgot that but you need to disconnect or else if anyone trying to open anyone trying to manipulate any data they will get some errors for the reasons you need to disconnect each and everything once you have completed the database actions you need to provide the disconnect queries then only uh, without any issues everyone can use the database so please don't forget to give the disconnect done now my task is I need to update the value as Tinash in the 2017 so I will save this and run the task once again it's done how quickly it's done you know? so here you can see the 2017 final status value has been updated as Tinash successfully it's up updated so everything is completed like this we can manipulate the data, retrieve the data, update the details and everything from the database into the database. So here is a very simple queries, just you need to select, update, insert into very basic queries only. The, like the programming languages, we do not need to update everything. Even you can get all these codes from the Google as well as I will update this in the description box so you can get it from there. Really thanks for your time please don't forget to subscribe please subscribe and like watch all the videos keep in touch with me really thank you bye bye